Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna, well today my mother is gonna make us bambasos. And she's prepping the chiles here. This water here is gonna be for our potatoes. And over here, she's very shy, so she doesn't wanna be on camera. But it's okay, I'm still gonna record her. I've never, I don't know how to make them, so she's gonna teach us all how to make them. ¿Cuántas papas va a pelar? Okay, so she's gonna peel eight potatoes. ¿Y cuántos chiles tiene acá hirviendo? Okay, so then there's 15 chiles. ¿Y les quitó la semilla? Okay, so she took the stem off and she took out the seeds, washed them, and now they're gonna be here until they boil. Ok, so vamos a seguir pelando las papas y ahorita vamos a ver qué más sigue. So she's going to keep on peeling her potatoes and see what's next, ok? Ok, ya está el agua hirviendo. Entonces, so she's going to dice her potatoes. ¿Por qué uh, pica la papa? Para que sea, sea cosa más fácil. So she cuts it, so it's easier to cook. Pero el pambazo lleva las papas chiquitas, ¿no? Finitas, ¿no? Yo las machaco. Oh, okay. So she's saying that she, once the potatoes are ready, she's going to smash them up. Como un puré de papa. So she's going to smash them up like mashed potatoes, and then she's going to mix it in with the chorizo. But to make it easier and faster for the potatoes to cook, she's cutting them, or dicing them up. Muy bien, muy bien. Se ve muy bien. Look at her technique, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to make her laugh because, like I said, she's kind of shy. Okay, vamos a llevarlo a la... El agua que se viene. Oh, we missed one. Okay. Okay, be careful when you guys are putting them in the pot because, like you guys could tell, it's boiling water. ¿Cuánto tiempo se va a hervir? Hasta que se cosa bien. Son como unos... Que se esté como, como puré, como unos... 25 minutos. Ok, so they're going to cook for 20 to 25 minutes, because we want them to be soft. Entre más chiquitas las cortan, uh -huh. más rápido se cosen. Ok, so she's saying that if you cut them smaller, to smaller pieces, they cook faster. So in this case, about 25 minutes for them to be fully cooked and then you guys could always uh, find out if they're ready by poking them with the fork and if they're uh, soft to touch then they're ready to go. And then our chiles are right here looking good. Los chiles? So she's saying to add a piece of onion to the chiles and a small piece of garlic. Okay so this is how it's looking. And she's Adding more potatoes. Can't wait to try them. Yummy. Okay, so aquí tenemos unos tomatillos. Son uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Creo que conté ocho. Son ocho tomatillos. So we have eight tomatillos and how many chiles de árbol? One, two, three, four. Uh, my mother-in-law is saying that if you want it more spicy, then you could add more chiles. ¿Cuántos son ahí? Como unos siete? Ocho. Ay, Dios, como unos diez. So she's adding like ten tomatillos. This is going to be uh, to make the sauce for the bambazos. So she's going to... ¿Ya le puso sal? Okay, so she already put salt and she's going to let this come to a boil. And the potatoes are going. And our chile is ready. So now we're going to make our salsa. Mm. And I'll show you guys in a little bit how she makes the rest of the salsa. Okay, so she's going to blend. She's going to blend this together. The chile. I mean, you tomatoes. So this is the
¿Por cuánto tiempo fue? Como por un... That was like maybe like 45 seconds of it. Ok, ¿qué más? Mientras esperamos este... El tomatillo es el cookie. Las papas. Papas y nos vamos ready. Five more minutes? Ok, she's in like five more minutes. Mientras preparamos el queso. Ok, so part of the pombazo recipe is that we're going to put uh, queso fresco. So she's going to open it and then we're going to put it in a Tupperware or a glass container. Lo va a desmenuzar. Mm -hmm. Just gonna break it apart. Y eso va a servir para ponerle arribita del pan vaso, mm -hmm. Adentro. It's gonna be a topping. Oh, va a ser adentro. It's gonna be part of the inside of the pan vaso. And if you want to add some more on top, you can. And the brand that we use is a Ranchero. And it's called Queso Fresco. Okay, so the potatoes are ready. So she's gonna smash them down, like if you're making a mashed potato. So come on, pure de papa, verdad? Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Steaming up my thumb. Como es muy fácil. So now they're soft and they're ready to be smashed. And these took about 25 minutes. Okay, guys, for them to come to a complete. Ya están los tomatillos con la salsa. Uh -huh. so, ¿Le va a poner estos también a la salsa? No. Este ¿Para es qué es esto? La gente que, este, el, con el que se hacen los albazos nada más es para darle el color. Y esa es la salsa para que tú le pongas a tu albazo. Oh, okay, so she's saying that this one here in the blender, this is the one that we're going to, pero los va a remojar, ¿no? So we're gonna dip our bread in here, in this sauce, and that gives it that uh, color of the pambazo, which is a nice a rich red, like this color. And then she's saying that this tomatillos and chiles are gonna be to anybody that wants to add extra sauce on top of the pambazo. Pero los ingredientes casi son igual, ¿no? Son tomatillos, chile de árbol. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this is for adding more on top of the pambazo. And this one's for dipping the pambazos in. And I'm going to show you guys. It's a pretty awesome process how to make the pambazos. So cool. But, okay, so we're going to let this sit here for a little bit. Le va a poner el chorizo aquí a las papas. Okay, so we'll come back. So we're going to start. I'm showing you how to cook the chorizo. So she got the sauce out of the blender and now she's going to use a strainer to get rid of any of the seeds or if there's any pulp in the sauce. Le das como para quitarle la... Porque el chile guaquillo es como corrioso. This is for her to make the, the sauce to dip the bread in. Can you can see how it's leaving some of the, I don't know, like some of the residue from the chile. Okay, so she's gonna add, she's gonna add some water. Seems like it's a little dense. So she's gonna add, como un vaso de agua? She's gonna add about, about a cup of water. See, this is the way our sauce looks. No quiere que sea muy gruesa la salsa. You You don't want it to be too thick of a sauce, but you don't want it too watery either. So it needs to be almost like at a perfect um, proportion of water and the chicken. Okay, so she's The 
se ve mejor? Yeah. Alright, so she's gonna look much better. And you see, that's what she's trying to use the strainer for to keep this stuff out of the sauce. Okay, we'll be back. All right, so she's done making the sauce. Um, like you guys could see, it's, the, it's just perfect. It's not very thick and it's not too watery. So this is gonna be perfect, you know, for her to be able to dip the bolillos in here to give them that color um, that we want for the bambasos. And everything else is kinda just sitting here waiting for her to continue her recipe. She needs to hurry. I'm starving and this smells so good. <laughs> okay, so this is the sauce that I was telling you guys about that she's gonna make for um, adding at the end on top of the pambazos. And she's gonna blend this real quick. spicy okay so she's saying that it's not too spicy she's gonna taste it that rica mm -hmm. okay so she's saying it's good it's mother-in-law approved perfect ¿Qué más sigue? okay so next we're gonna fry that chorizo Oh, that looks so funny. Okay, so she's gonna fry the chorizo. ¿Qué tipo de... ¿Qué marca es? A ver, ¿dónde se llama this? Okay, so for our chorizo, we're gonna be using this brand, the Casica brand, and it's soy chorizo. We try to make it a um, little healthier. Um, why not? And it tastes the same. You guys should give it a try if you guys haven't tried the soy chorizo. It's very good. Um, it's less greasy and you, you, uh, you still get the benefit of having that taste of chorizo and it's delicious okay so vamos a poner cuantos chorizos so she's gonna add this is one packet here and then here's the other one she's cutting it up make sure that you guys are very careful right. uh -oh. okay <laughs> so vamos a cocinar dos paquetitos de chorizo and if you i mean if you need more you can if you have I have a bigger party, and if you have a bigger family, you could do as many as you need for your recipe. We're only doing two maybe, maybe three, but hey, if you have more people, then you need more. So this is definitely part of the recipe. We're going to cook this first, and then we're going to add the potatoes to that chorizo. Ooh, look at that. Make sure that when you guys uh, cook chorizo, to keep on stirring the chorizo because it will get stuck to the bottom of the pan. So yes, don't, don't forget that it's on the stove basically. You don't want your chorizo to get that. Muy delicioso. Como unos un minuto, yo creo, no? Yeah, about a minute. You know when it's ready because it turns, uh, it turns darker and crispier. So you know when it's ready. This is uh, not that big of a, an amount, so it should be ready soon. Mm. So our chorizo is ready. So we're gonna add our potatoes. Qué delicioso se ve esto. A ver, vamos a poner la papa, el chorizo. Todo junto. We're going to mix it in. And this recipe, guys, is so delicious that look who's here. My mom, my dad, everybody's here. They're waiting for the pambazos to be ready because I called them and I said, guess what? My mother and I va a hacer pambazos. Venganse. And they're like, oh my God, yeah. Mm. 
se va a revolver todo el chorizo, la papa. ¿Qué más le va a poner? Nada ya más. nada más. Okay. So this is gonna be the mix: potatoes and chorizo. And we'll come back to show you guys how we uh, prepare the pambazos. So this is the bread that we're uh, gonna need to make pambazos. It's called the bolillo, uh, telera. So she's gonna cut it like almost like if she's making a torta or like a sandwich, you know. Lo corta, le deja no todo cortado. O está bien que quede así. Le pueden cortar todo. You can cut it all the way through or leave it just like this, how she's doing it. So we're gonna take this over. Mm. Okay. Oh, this is the exciting part. Okay, so she is gonna stuff it. Lo va a rellenar, ¿verdad? El pan. Wow. Okay. Oh, this piece came off, but it's okay because you're you're just gonna put it on top. So if it comes off, or if you guys want to cut it all the way through, you guys can, no problem. So she's putting a layer of chorizo con papas. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. Ya se me hizo la boca agua. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at that. la tapa, putting the little back on it. Okay. So she's gonna leave that here. We're gonna get a, a couple more going and then I'll come back so I can show you guys how we're gonna uh, fry them. Okay, here's how you make a pambazo. You need a dip, the bolillo that we just stuffed with the potatoes and chorizo. And here comes the magic. Esto es un pambazo. ¿Y si te está haciendo el... ¿Por cuánto tiempo lo pone a freír? Ya se me fue el color. Sí, ya se fue el color. ¿Así es esto? Como unos 30 segundos de acá. So maybe about 30 seconds and then we're going to put it over on the other side. Once again, be very careful, like you could tell, the oil is very hot. Okay. saying that she's going to use your hand and put it over. She's an expert. But if you guys want to use spatula or something else, you guys can. This is going to be a very big pambaso. Look at that size. It's very big the pan. I'll show you guys how we're gonna dress up our pambazo. Okay, so it's ready, and she's gonna add some queso fresco. Ay, que delicia. Okay, quesito fresco, and you could add as much as you want. Lechuguita. Mm. Oh my gosh. Y crema, a ver, enciende la crema. Voltela, para que vean que marca es. Okay, crema mexicana. Ooh, work it, work your magic, suegra. Okay, y luego, la salsita, this is the sauce. Remember that she made two types of sauces. One to give it that color, and then one to dress it up. ¿Y qué más? Ya? Ya está listo? Para comer? Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna uh, cut it in half and then Oh, I'll show you guys. Give me one second. Okay, so this is the finished product. Look at that. 
I'm gonna show you guys the inside. You guys can see the potatoes, the chorizo, crema, salsa. I cut it in half because it's just so, such a big torta, I can't even eat it. But I added more sour cream on top, more salsa, more queso. And guess what? Now I'm gonna have dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe so much. I know that I enjoy learning with my mother-in-law and I'm glad that she showed us how to make pambazos. Uh, please do not forget to go to my channel, like and subscribe, and I'm going to be posting more videos. Uh, hopefully you guys like and let me know if you guys try it at home. I'm going to have some dinner. Uh, provecho. See you guys soon. Bye.